So today we're going to be talking about three new tile types and an update to an existing tile type, our media tiles. So let's get started. There are three updates, or three new items. Those are the music playback tile, the new weather tile, and the new spacer tile. And then the update is to the media tile around positioning and layout of your images. So let's get started with the music playback tile. This, this blue tile here at the top, a little bit darker than some of our existing tiles. And you can adjust that color however you see fit. And what you'll see is we've got some basic playback controls and some data about what track is playing. So if I hit the play button, which you'll hear in the background as the music has started, and our status is updated here. And we can also skip through the tracks to another track. See so here that skip forward and then the data updates. And you also have some details which you can click in the bottom left and you have the more detailed uh, playback controls for play, pause, stop, for muting, for unmuting, for showing the data about what's happening, your, your volume level, your mute status, you can control your volume level, etc., etc. The next item we'll talk about is the weather tiles. So we have uh, four weather tiles that we've got laid out on the screen, and these are coming from two different sources. The main source is our smart weather tile, which is a type of device which you can install in the SmartThings IDE. And then the second type is actually a community device handler from the SmartThings community called WeatherStation 2.0. They both have very similar data. Uh, what I found is that the smart weather tile doesn't sometimes update. So sometimes you have to have a third party tool to actually refresh that to keep it polling versus the new WeatherStation 2.0 has a bit more detail related to the data. And it's really good, really reliable about how fast and how often it updates. So what we'll see here is that there's basically a forecast icon, your temperature, your feels like temperature, and then a bunch of other data uh, around your forecast, your sunrise, your sunset, uh, the wind speed, humidity, uh, percent chance of precipitation, so how likely it is to rain. So lots of really nice data all on one tile. And as you can see, there's four different tiles that we have here. So those tiles have just been customized to various different colors. And this first tile here has had the label removed. So I'll show you how we do that real quick. You can come in and when you're in edit mode, you have the three dots that come up in the top right for the overflow menu. You can choose edit. And then you have options to change the dimensions, the label, and the color. So on the first one, we've just changed the label to a blank label. But you, we could change it to whatever we want to. So we could say test label, for example. Very creative. Or if we wanted to say my weather save that. We can now see that the label is updated. And similarly, these other tiles have had the colors updated so that we could have different colors to fit whatever color scheme that we want. So we'll cancel that. The next item I want to show is around spacers. And spacers help with one of the issues I'm seeing on the screen now, which I, I might actually want these tiles, these weather tiles, to all be positioned together. But the problem is whenever we save the dashboard, by default, it automatically tries to flow itself uh, left to right, top to bottom, to fit all of your tiles onto the screen. So we can now work around that by using the new spacer tiles, which we can add like a normal tile. It's under the other section here at the bottom. And we scroll down, add the spacer tile, which we'll see appear over here on the right in the background. And so now that we've added that, we can position that where we want it. And we can actually edit it to say, I want this to be a double wide tile. Because otherwise, if we didn't do that, uh, this tile would have actually been slightly positioned over. And now we see the spacer tiles in place. It's the width we want. And as we save it, boom, it disappears from the screen, but still positions things the way that we want it to. So a very nice, useful tile. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a media tile so that we can show some of the updates to media tiles. So we'll come in under media. And I already have front yard, but I'm going to add another copy of it just so you can see uh, some of the updates. So as we add the media URL, what we'll see is a preview of the image on the bottom. And we can see a timestamp at the top and the bottom of the image. And what we'll see, though, is that the default media tile size will actually crop some of that off. So let's see how we can work around that. We'll add the tile to our dashboard. And we can see that those timestamps are now missing. Well, what we have is we have a few new options. We have a media scaling option and a media position option. So the default is cover and 50%. And 
And what cover means is it'll try to fit the image onto the tile as best it can. It may crop some of the image off, but it won't distort it and it won't leave any black bars. We have two other options, which are fill and contain. And fill basically tries to stretch the image to fit into the tile, but it might distort it a little bit. And contain basically tries to fit the image completely within the tile, so it might add black bars. So let's see what each of those look like. If we go to fill, as the image reloads, we can see now that both timestamps are available on the tile, but the tile might be slightly squished, which for a lot of situations is perfectly fine. The image isn't squished that much, so you're really not going to notice it. But some cases you don't want to have that. So we have two other options. The first option is contain, which is the black bars of format that we were talking about. So as this loads, we can see the black bars on the left and the right, but we can see the timestamp, both timestamps, the whole image, no distortion. So that may be an option that some people want as well. And the last option is the default of cover. And we'll go back to that just so you can see what it is. The challenge here is that we've kind of fit the tile in width-wise, but the height of the tile is cropped off a little bit at the top and the bottom. So we can get around that by positioning things. So if we wanted to position the tile, the default is 50%, which is basically saying vertically center the media tile. We can change that to 0%, which as you'll see here at the bottom, basically puts the top of the image into the screen. So as we see this load, we can now see the top timestamp is there, but the bottom timestamp is cropped off. So this may work for us, or there may be a situation where you say, no, 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 it's more important to me to see the bottom of the tile, in which case you can set a media position of 100% for bottom alignment. And we'll save that and see what comes in here. So now we can see the bottom of the tile uh, a bit better, the image a bit better. We can see the entrance to the walkway better. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. So lots of new options there. Again, three new things. We've got the new music playback tiles. We've got the new weather tiles. We have the new spacer tiles. And then one update, which is these media tile updates around positioning and how you fill and fit the image onto the screen. So I hope you guys enjoy the new updates.